parsley, one of the most underrated herbs around. Most people use it for garnish, and a lot of times it just gets thrown away. Well, guess what? You can make an absolutely amazing summer salad with parsley and a few other ingredients. Let's make a tabbouleh salad. Hey guys, it's Craig here. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today I want to show you how to make a really gorgeous summer salad out of parsley. Who knew? It's called a tabbouleh salad. I have to tell you before we get to making it, there's as many ways of making this as there are countries on the planet. So I'm just going to show you the way I do it. I have a restaurant nearby that uh, makes this and I've ordered it many times and I think I've managed to duplicate it fairly well. So without further ado, let's make a tabbouleh salad. It's absolutely beautiful stuff. Okay. So the ingredients that we're going to use here, we got tomatoes, we got onions, we got um, lemons, a little bit of uh, cucumber. This is, this is optional. Uh, a lot of people don't add this, but I like it. So you can add it if you want. And of course the main ingredient is parsley. Um, I have curly leaf parsley here. Uh, some people use flat leaf parsley. I don't think it really matters. Um, I prefer the, the curly leaf myself just because of the texture. Okay. But it's completely up to you. Um, parsley is great for your breath. It's good for you, has a lot of vitamins. And this salad is absolutely packed with goodness. So the first thing you're going to want to do um, is get your stuff ready. Now, the other things you're going to need here, um, this, is, uh, this is couscous. Now, normally they use bulgur wheat, um, and I can't find it around here. Um, so you can use just, I just buy whole wheat couscous. All right, it'll do the same thing. And that's what you've got, and that's what you use. Also, you want to get some extra virgin olive oil. So as far as the amounts of everything, well, it depends. And we'll go through that with you and make sure that you know how to do it for the first time. Let's get going here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your couscous or your bulgur wheat, and you want to prepare it. So you just want to follow directions on the box. I've already done that. I've got mine right here. Um, it's got the boiling water on it and it's absorbing it and turning itself into couscous. As far as the bulgur wheat goes, if you can find it, you just follow the directions. I believe you cover it with boiling water and you let it sit for 30 minutes. Um, and you know, either way, you want to do that first so that that's ready for you while you get the rest of your stuff um, prepared. I'm going to move these things out of the way. And we want to start with our parsley. The very important thing here is that with the parsley, you have to rinse it. A lot of videos on YouTube, uh, how to make a tabbouleh salad. You can learn how to do it in five minutes, but I'm not going to, it's not going to take me five minutes. I'm going to show you how to really, you know, go along and, and prepare it. You have to rinse the parsley extremely well. And I'm talking about put it in a bowl, fill it with cold water, slosh it around because there's sand in parsley. And if you don't rinse it, you're going to have, be chewing on grains of sand in your salad. And that's no good. Uh, I have a salad spinner here. You know, one of these things that you, you put it in to dry it off, you know, and spin it around and right. And so, cause you kind of want to make sure it's dry, uh, before you start to make your salad, you don't want it dripping wet. Okay. So then we're just going to chop it up and you know, whatever way that you like to chop things up. Now, a lot of people cut off, uh, they cut off the stems. Uh, I don't, uh, I cut the ends of the stems off because they're a little nasty, but uh, there's nothing wrong with the stems. Okay. Leave them in. They're fine. And so this is, we're using uh, one head of parsley head stock, whatever you call it. And uh, this is, this is the, the proportions. If you want to make a bigger salad, then you just multiply it by two or three or, or whatever. Okay. So let's start chopping up our parsley. Now this has to be the best way to do this really is to get it kind of bunched up really small if you can. <laughs> and this is the fun part and just start 
with a sharp knife chopping through it. You do want it chopped up very fine. So this might take you a few minutes. It's an awful shame that um, people generally use parsley as a garnish and then a lot of people don't even eat it. They just throw it away or they leave it on the plate. Um, so this is a great way to, uh, to utilize it and it's good for you. Okay. So I'm going to continue to chop this and I'll show you the, what it looks like when it's uh, completely chopped up. Okay, I think, I think we pretty much got it where we want it here. You can see the uh, sort of the consistency of that, how fine down that's chopped. So that's perfect. So let's grab ourselves a bowl and in it goes. And that's the start of our tabbouleh salad. Okay, a little messy. <laughs> Clean hands, of course, always when you're when you're making these kinds of well, any food actually. So we'll just get that in there. So you see that? Okay, that's how you want that. Okay, that's perfect. All right, good stuff. Now let's set that aside and we'll grab ourselves an onion. The next thing that's going to go in. Now you can use red onion, white onion. Uh, scallions or green onions, um, spring onions, as I guess they're sometimes called, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. I just use regular, regular onions. They, they work great. And what you want to do again is you want to you know, chop these up f fine, okay? You want, to, you want to dice them. You know, a lot of people do this and they go through the middle a couple of times. You don't have to do that. Onions have layers and layers will take care of themselves. You'll see what I mean. See? Chop through there. And look, it's all going to come apart all by itself. You don't need to go through and chop through the middle of the onion. It's not necessary. Okay? So, there you go. I don't know why people do that. So we'll get this chopped. Now, this is one onion I'm putting in. And when I get it mixed around, I will decide and I'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll decide whether we need to add more onions to this, okay? So this is all you just eyeballing it and seeing what it looks like. And at the end of this video, I'll show you what mine looks like and how, you know, what the proportions are and you can really make your own mind up. There's no set rule for this salad, okay? So there we have onion. Let's put that in there. All right. Okay. Now let's give this a stir. Just by looking at this and knowing what it's supposed to look like, we need a little bit more onion. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up another half an onion, possibly a little bit more. We'll add it in there and I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. Another half an onion, and that's what it looks like. You want to see it in there. You want to be able to get at least some onions in every spoonful when you eat this salad. Now, at this point, I'm going to add some salt. I'm using sea salt here. A little bit of salt, and what this is going to do is it's going to start to draw the... Um, not, don't put too much in. Don't need too much. Draw. It's going to start to draw the, ju the, the juices, the you know liquids, out of the parsley and the onion and it's going to help them make a dressing. You see? So we'll mix that all around and there you go. Okay. All right. Next. And this is optional. A lot of people don't put this in. Uh, just get these little onions in there. Uh, is cucumber. Okay. So cucumber and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cucumber in kind of uh, flats like this, right? And then I'm going to cut it in strips. And you're just going to dice it, right? Exactly what you're going to do, right? Just like that. Go ahead and do that. This is an English cucumber. There's no hardly, well, there's no seeds. There's seeds in it, but they're very small. Okay. Now let's 
put that in there and see what we've got. There we go. So you can see the onions, you can see the cucumber. And that's the way I like it to be. So there you have it. Now, next, tomatoes. How many tomatoes? Well, we don't know yet until we put them in. And this is what we've been doing all along. Um, slice them like that and just got to dice these. You need a sharp knife. You know what? If you can't afford, this is $120. You know, I bought this 15 years ago. It still works. Beautiful knife. Um, if you can't afford one, you know what? You need a sharp knife in a kitchen. You can't, you can't do anything without a sharp knife. If you can't afford to buy a chef's knife, it, just go to Walmart and get the, the $39, you know, knife set. I've got one here. It's just as sharp. It works just as good. You see? It's better than nothing, I'll tell you right now. And with knives, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep them sharpened. Not sharpened like with a stone, but you want to keep the edges of the knife set. You want to set the edge of the knife with a steel. This is called a steel. Even the oldest knife in your drawer, it's been sitting around, it doesn't do anything. You'd use, you do this with it, you'll be amazed at how well it will cut. So we just want to dice the tomato like this. All right. I'll go back to my big knife just because I like it. And just the weight of the knife. And there you go. Okay. That's how you do that. Of course, you to take out the, the core. And that's what we're going to do. So I got two tomatoes here that I'm going to put in. And we'll see how it looks after two. And we'll decide whether we're going to put more in or not. So we'll be right back. Okay. So I put, a, I put another tomato in there. Can you see that? That's how it should look. And of course, there's, nobody's telling you how to make it. It's your salad. Okay. So, you know, if you don't want as many onions in there, then you don't put as many onions in. But this is how they sort of generally look when you make a tabbouleh salad. Now let's make the dressing for it. Set that aside. What have we got? We've got lemon. Lemons. Okay. So you need lemon juice. How many lemons do you need? I'd say two. But maybe you only like one. So we'll have to see what happens there. So get yourself some lemons and get the juice out of them. Okay. So let's just do one lemon at first. I would predict probably, depending on the lemons that you buy and how sour they are and whatnot, probably about one and a half, one, anywhere between one and one and a half lemons per stalk of parsley. Okay. Now you want, you want the lemon and the olive oil mixture. You want to taste that. You really want to have that up front in, in the salad. You don't want it to be in the background. You want to really taste this because this is what makes it a tabbouleh salad, really. You, you see how much that is? All right. Put that in. And with the olive oil, you want to put the same amount of olive oil as what you had with your your lemon juice. Okay, so it's like a 50-50 thing. So you put that in there. All right, so you got your lemon juice and your olive oil. Give it a good stir. Now you're at the point where you're going to start tasting it, okay, to see where it's at. So we'll give this a good mix. I'm thinking another half a lemon and a little more olive oil. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll taste it and we'll see what we've got. Okay, so I added another half a lemon and the equivalent amount of olive oil. 
And, well, that's what a tabbouleh salad usually looks like. The only thing we're missing, the so last thing I usually add, is our bulgur wheat or you can't get that, you use couscous. So we're just going to put that in. You can decide how much of this you want to actually add. Some people put a lot in. Uh, some people don't. It really is up to you. Let's try that. See how that goes around. See now, look, it's turning into an authentic tabbouleh salad. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to cover this up, put it in the fridge, wait about half an hour to an hour for it to kind of marinate and things blend together and get married and it's, you know, kind of the word marinade comes from marriage, you know, and let's do that. We'll come back, we'll plate it up, we'll give it a final try. There you have it. Tabbouleh salad. <laughs> it's no wonder I can't keep this stuff in the fridge. I have to make it like every few days because it just disappears. It's delicious, it's cold, it's fresh. Take it to your next family picnic or potluck dinner or just make it for yourself. Give yourself a treat. I absolutely love this. Tabbouleh salad, guys. Thanks for watching Craig's Kitchen once again. Cheers.